My name is Alexander Impolsky. I'm a CEO of Security Scorecard, the leading security rating platform in the world. In this video series called Security DNA, I'm going to talk to people from all walks of life, board members, CIOs, CISOs, industry innovators, about what cybersecurity means to them and the latest trends. Welcome. Today we welcome Devon Sharma to Security DNA video series. Devon has a PhD from Ohio State University. He's a chairman at Crystal, member of a board of directors at 1-800-Flowers, and he also served as a CEO and president of Standard & Poor's. So Devon, welcome to Security DNA. So the first question I was hoping to learn your insights about is, it was not too long ago where one of the largest credit rating agencies downgraded a company's outlook from stable to negative, citing the considerable cybersecurity investments made necessary following uh, a massive data breach. There's also been an example where another credit rating agency publicly announced that banks and financial institutions and other regulated industries may get a preemptive credit rating downgrade if there's evidence of poor cybersecurity policies. So I'd love to hear what's your take on how credit ratings need to be adjusted to reflect security advancements or shortcomings. Cybersecurity risk is becoming the largest risk facing most companies. And what credit rating does is really looks at the company's earning potential to pay back its debt. But if the company's earnings stream is going to be disruptive because of cybersecurity, then naturally their ability to pay back the debt is going to be disrupted. So to some extent, credit risk, uh, cyber risk is going to become central to assessing the credit risk in the future. And it's, it's obvious because if you look at a, a cybersecurity risk, it's a flow. It's a flow uh, in that is happening across the world, across businesses, across societies, across individuals, because everything has become digital. And as everything is becoming digital, that means more risk is uh, uh, getting inserted. So you have to look at more aspects where risk has to be assessed. You have to look at more players where risk has to be assessed and and more frequently where risk has to be assessed so i can see where cyber risk will become the central risk at least in the next few years where companies have to tackle um, whether it's their business side or the credit side or the balance sheet side or elsewhere they have to do that and contagion of risk is the biggest threat that most businesses and countries have to face Third, as businesses become more digital, you will see more growth of data, network, data flows, more people involved in the, the digital environment. And as more people are involved, there are more chances that they are likely to make a mistake accidentally or intentionally, which really means you have to measure the risk more broadly. Not only in the number of interactions that they have with different businesses, for example, a large enterprise may have 50 to 100,000 interactions with vendors, customers, partners. And so you and all those sources of, are a source for risk that can come into an organization. So you have to look at the third party risk in a very systemic way, because that is going to be the biggest source of risk that comes into organization. And lastly, if you look at attack vectors. You know, just what happened in last week, some small software provider in Texas became the conduit through which government agencies were um, um, hacked. A, a big fire, a security company, FireEye, was hacked. So the act, attack vectors, attack sources, attack players are just broadening. And they're doing it for non-economic reasons. They're doing it for political reasons. So it's very hard to figure out what is the uh, uh, motivation behind these people? So as a result, you have to be watchful all the time because otherwise the risk will rise. In summing, the nature of cyber risk 
is dynamic, it's new, it's evolving. And so it needs a continual, some sort of a risk monitoring, risk measurement, risk sort of benchmarking and rating. Thank you, Devon. Really, really great insights.